Hi, happy Sunday. It's Brooke Miller here, your realtor in the Fredericksburg, Virginia area. And I just was meeting with some seller clients and we will be putting their house on the market later on this week. And a lot of my seller clients have been having questions about how we're gonna be able to do this given the current environment. So this is a quick video to tell you how we are taking on new seller clients, marketing their homes, showing their homes, and going through the process given this current COVID-19 conscious environment. First thing is, instead of an actual in-person listing appointment, our initial consultation listing appointment will be via Zoom. We have great technologies these days, and if we are able to, and other people have that technology, we are able to use it to our advantage. So we are doing our actual listing appointments via Zoom. And what I ask my seller clients to do ahead of time, if I have not seen their house inside or outside prior to this, is I'm asking them to go through their home and take photos with their cell phone of every room in their home and their basement, also take photos of things like their furnace, their water heater, their deck, um, their septic system, their propane tank, things like that. Sending that to me ahead of time so I have a very good idea of what their home looks like without even having stepped inside of it. During the initial Zoom meeting, we'll not only go over my marketing plan, answer questions, find out what the timeline is, and review a market analysis, but we'll also talk about what the new options are when it comes to showings. And you, as the seller, are the one who kind of calls the shots on how you want your showings to go. And we have one of three options, or all three options, that we can choose. The first option for showing your home is in-person showings are okay. And if a buyer and their agent feels comfortable coming into your home, you allow that to still happen. And those showings are still scheduled in the same way we've always done it. I will ensure that there are no overlapping showings, so you won't have multiple groups of buyers in your home at a time. We also will make sure that there is time in between the showings to make sure you have time to get back to your home and sanitize it before the next group does come through. And it's always important when you do have a group coming through, I do recommend to make sure there are no children coming through the home. Uh, children always will touch things that you don't realize they're touching. And I don't want you to have to clean every single surface in your home. So no children during showings I think is really important during this time. The second option for showing is called virtual showing. And what a virtual showing is, is the buyer's agent goes to the home in person, but they're using their phone or a camera to do a tour of the home and has commentary as they're going through. So they'll probably FaceTime their client as they're walking through the home. Again, another great opportunity for someone to see your home, but only one person is coming through um, as opposed to two or three people coming through as at a time. So if that makes you feel more comfortable, we can say virtual showings only. The third option is when you have nobody actually physically coming through your home, and that is called a virtual tour. Now our multiple listing system used to say if a home is active on the market, you have to be able to physically go and show the home. They have relaxed that rule given the current environment. So a virtual tour is something like a three-dimensional tour or a video tour of the home. Um, actual in-person showings or agent showings are not happening, but they are able to go into the multiple listing system and see these virtual virtual tours. I have had clients receive offers on their home just based on the virtual tour. Now one thing to expect if you are doing a virtual tour only, if you receive an offer, you should expect that the buyer is going to want to physically come to the house at least one time before moving forward. Uh, so what the virtual tour can do is you don't have a lot of showings in person, but when it comes time to um, ratifying with the buyer, only one party is coming through the house. So maybe only three people are coming through your house total before your house goes under contract. So that's a very safe option as well. Now it comes to getting an offer and we can handle offers in basically the same way we handled it before. 
Many times I love to be with my sellers at their kitchen table to review the offer, go over the terms, either accept the offer, put together a counter offer, or figure out what our next plan of action is gonna be. We can do the same thing via a Zoom meeting, or we can just do it over the phone. I analyze every single offer anyway, and so the information you have is just gonna be data. And the data will reveal what your proceeds are gonna be, or how much you owe would be, what the closing date would be. We can make decisions based on this data without having to meet face-to-face, -face, but if you do prefer a face-to-face -face meeting, we can do that over Zoom. When it comes to making a counteroffer or accepting an offer, just like when we signed your listing agreement with our electronic signature service, we'll do that again. So from the comfort of your home, you can just sit there on your phone and click through, sign in initial every single spot, and that would be your counteroffer or accepting an offer. Now there are three other times a person will need to get into your home during the contract to closing phase. The first time is the home inspector. And my recommendation to my sellers is you allow the home inspector to come in and possibly a second inspector, just depending on how large your home is, but the buyers and the buyer agent should not come. It should just be the inspector. So that's just one person. And the inspectors are taking extra precautions. They are cleaning every single thing that they touch. They are wearing booties. They are wearing gloves. They are taking the proper precautions and inspecting your home. Uh, so I want you to feel like you are in a safe environment when that inspector is coming into your home. The second time is the appraisal. The appraiser has to come to your home. There are some appraisers who are not doing appraisals right now, but there are plenty who are. And if the buyer of your home is getting a mortgage, your home is going to have to be appraised. So the appraiser will come to your home. They typically won't touch anything. You could be there when they come to your home and you could be the one to open the doors and the cabinets and the pantry and the basement door and the back door and things like that. Uh, but they do have to come to your home and their visit is very short, typically about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then the third time someone is going to be coming into your home is when they're doing the wood destroying insect inspection. They will inspect the exterior of your home and your garage to make sure there are no wood destroying insects in your home, but they also need to come in and inspect the foundation from the inside. So what they may do is just go in and out of the basement. It depends on your comfort level, um, but they will need to come inside your home. Finally, for your closing, you will already be moved out of your home. Um, so the buyer will do their final walkthrough, typically the day before or the day of settlement. But again, you should have already been moved out of your home by that time. So you should not be concerned about safety when it comes to that. And then your closing. I work with RGS Title. RGS Title does do, still do in-person showings. In the state of Virginia, many of the documents that you as a seller have to sign need to be notarized. That still has to happen in person. So they are taking all the proper protocols, but typically I, as your agent, typically the buyers, the buyer's agent, the buyer's lender, and you guys are all sitting at the table together signing papers. That is not happening now. Now it is one party at a time. So sellers and the notary, settlement agent are the only ones in the room at the time. So unfortunately, I will not be able to sit there with you, but we will have plenty of time to go over things ahead of time. And again, the settlement agents, they know exactly what they're doing and so they can help you. But I will make sure I have the appointment on my calendar and I'm fully available while your settlement is going on. We can also handle settlements remotely. Uh, so I have clients who are in Seattle and they are not traveling right now, but they needed to sign their closing documents. So we had everything emailed to them. They printed out all the papers they needed to sign. We made arrangements for a mobile notary to come to their home to sign their papers because they cannot leave their home there. Um, and so it was all taken care of via a notary and email and everything is being FedEx back. So all of that stuff is still happening. So I know we're in very different times, but I've got to tell you that homes are still selling. People are still buying. People are out looking even more because they're able to look on their computers. And we've always been able to look on our computers and phones, but now more than ever, these websites, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Longandfoster.com, BrookMillerHomes.com, 
all of the websites that we routinely use are seeing a 30% increase in traffic. Now that doesn't mean it's a 30% increase in buyer activity, but what it means is people are thinking. And so it's very important for you to understand that our market is still in action. We are not considered a non-essential business. Real estate in the state of Virginia is considered an essential business and we will still go on just in a different way. So if you have any questions about how to sell your home in this environment, or if you wanna work with a pro who really knows how to do it, reach out to me, Brooke Miller, my team and I work together. We meet every single week on Zoom meetings. We are selling houses every single day right now. So if you need to sell your home, if you want to sell your home, if you have questions about it, if you just want to get ideas on what to do to get ready, we can do that too. So feel free to reach out. And for more information in the future, please hit the subscribe button and we will share more videos as we go through this COVID-19 craziness or our new normal, whatever it's called. But we are here to help you. And please reach out if you need anything. Have a great day.